So we had prayer. And we got back and started reading again. About the time we got two or three verses, we had the phone rang. Just didn't answer the phone. I started to yell, don't answer it. <laughs> she answered me. Somebody else won't pray. So we prayed. We read a few more scriptures. Somebody came to the door. Or it was a mailman. I heard the, heard the mailbox flop. And everything in the world distracts you from doing what God intends you to do. We can't allow that to aggravate us. Are you listening to me, man? Yeah. You, you, you've got to stay with a calm, cool, and collected. Yeah. <laughs> trying to collect my thoughts so I don't hear the wrong voice. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Because it's so easy to lean to your own understanding. Well, if you'd shut up, we could read. If you'd sit down, we could read. If you'd do this, we could read. If you do this, we could study a little bit. It ain't, it ain't up to us how we do it. It's just up to us to get it done. If it takes an hour and your ball game is on, you take the hour from the ball game. You take it if you want to. But, uh, That's right, amen. You need to take that time to spend in God's Word. Amen. Amen. Daily bread. Daily bread. That means daily. And the bread we know is the Word of God. Amen. Amen. John 16, verse 12. <laughs> Talking about our human weaknesses and our necessities. John 16, 12 said, I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them right now. He doesn't say right, but he's talking about the very time that he will. <coughs> Paul said to the Corinthian church, I wanted to feed you some meat. You couldn't receive it. Why couldn't they receive it? Because he said there's jealousy and envy and strife among you. He said you're still babies. They've been in church for a long time. Amen? Yeah. Yeah. You see, going to church don't make you grown up. Amen. Adapting to the Word, the truth of God's Word is what creates an atmosphere where you can grow and where you can be nourished and where you can receive the nourishment. Amen? A baby, when they're full, they, ain't gonna, they don't want to eat nothing else. They'll eat it if you stick that bottle in their mouth. They'll eat it. And they'll eat until they upchuck it. Amen? Amen? Well, we don't want to be up chucking the Word of God. Yeah. We want to read a substantial amount every day. We want to receive what God has for us every day, Brother Earl. But we don't want to get to the place where we're overfilling. Amen? Yeah. You said, what do you mean? It's kind of hard to eat when you're full of it. So what do you do? you got to go out and give up some of it. you got to go out there and get rid of some of it. Amen? What are you saying? God gives you word so you can go give to somebody else. Amen. Amen? Yeah. How many of you have ever thought about really getting in the ministry of reading the word? Now you think about what I'm saying. Uh, there, there's a ministry of reading the word. Coy, he can call us Lots of times when we sit down to read, he will call us. And he'll stay on the phone and read with us on the phone. Mm. Amen. And many times he'll call his daughter Charity and have her on the other line. And we're all reading together. Amen. 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 This young man is growing in leaps and bounds. Amen. Amen. Getting ready to start into a ministry of his own. Getting ready to do a work for God. Amen. He Praise told God. me, I know I'm going to have to have that word. If I'm going to stand strong, I've got to have that word. Amen? Amen. And I wish all Christians, I really pray that all Christians would get that kind of attitude. Amen? Especially as a dad, because when Charity is there with him, 
And they, they read together. Pray together. Seek God together. How about feeding the lambs? Let's go to John 21, verse 15. We're talking about sharing the Word of God. Jesus was talking to Peter here, and he said, Do you love me more than these? Talking about the fishes. He said, Do you love me more than this? And I don't, I don't guess there's anybody in the congregation this morning, or probably in the world itself, that loves to fish any more than I do. Well, I'll take that back. Candy likes to fish more than that. <laughs> That's all he'd do if his wife would let him. Amen? Amen. What do you mean, Brother Dean? The man loves to fish. Yeah. Glory. How many of you know that Peter was a fisherman before Jesus called him? Amen. Yeah. 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 And what did Jesus tell him when he called him out of his ship? He said, come follow me and I'll make you a fisher of men. Amen. So what happens when Jesus winds up being crucified? Peter said, I'm going fishing. I'll just revert back to what I was before. A lot of them reverted back to being drunks. Yeah. There's been men all down through the ages when they no longer got a vision of the Savior. They'll revert back to what there was before. Just like a hog and go back to the water. Amen? Amen. John 21, verse 15 says, So when they had dined, Jesus says to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my lambs. Amen. A lamb is a what? Baby sheep. Mm -hmm. Amen. He didn't say feed my ewes. That's a female. He didn't say feed my rams. Amen. 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 Them grown-ups are supposed to know how to get out there and eat on their own. But a baby has to be fed. Amen. Amen. Where are you going with this, Brother Dean? He asked him two more times. I wonder why he went the third time. To make sure. I believe it was because three times Peter denied him. No, oh, he was one of them. No, I don't even know that man. What are you talking about? Then another maid saw him and said, Oh, I'm sure I've seen you with them. Your speech is kind of deceiving. Dude, it's, 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 you're a Galilean. And then the other said, yeah, you was with him out there in the garden. As a matter of fact, Malchus said, could have said, you cut my ear off. He said, yeah, we seen you in the garden. Oh, I don't know him. I don't know him. You say, well, I'd never do that. Uh, Somebody at the grocery store said, would you pray for me? My arm's hurting. My arm's just killing me. And you say, yeah, I'll have prayer for you. I'll call around and get some prayer going for you. You just denied him. Just turn it away. Yeah. You just yeah. denied him. That's right. Oh, brother, didn't it? You just denied him. Come on. You took the anointing that God has placed on your life and you pushed it aside. And did not pray when asked. Come on, brother. And I find some that when they ask, would, would y'all pray for me? Yeah, here, let me get my oil. Oh, no, man, not here, not here. This is not the place. Where is the place you're supposed to pray? Come on, brother. <laughs> Come here, let me know what you with oil. And you chase them out the door trying to catch them. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> You don't embarrass me. I was told by a lady here one night, said, Oh, Brother Tommy just embarrassed the daylights out of me the other day. He saw me over there at Albertson's. And he went to screaming, Hey, sister, hey, sister, <laughs> hold on just a minute. I want to tell you what happened at church. <laughs> she said, Man, I dropped my head with her. I said, You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Amen. 